as you receive uh, the e-drill uh, side, you can get this so it's e-drill device, it's a pro version but this is a different to e-drill and they also have this kind of wireless uh, harness but this one's for the HE300, 331 that is for the D3, um, but this one's for the uh, RSS, but this one's for the Volvo, for this one is for the Dolph so if you get this, you can see here, you get this, it goes to the oven. So we put um, this adapter inside. Put this adapter inside here, so we can to the control right here. For example, for this one, for the Volvo, use this adapter, so we can choose the harness like this to connect to here. Okay, so let's start in testing. Click anywhere, hit this one, select, always use the general, so if you notice the uh, part number, you can choose this, but you can use the general, for example, for testing. You notice when 24 volt, okay, here, clicking the wrong button here, we can do confirm, so we can do the testing, to read it uh, like usual. So you see here, the part number, the hardware number, the system number, the software version, voltage version, and the voltage measured at the operation angle. Right, so we also we want to if we want we to do the sweep. Then the output gear you can do the sweep one one percent. Then we can go from the CW and the CCW. Then you can to finish this. Make here, you can do the cabution from the step one. You can follow the instruction. Say you can choose the model from the different and for example you have the HE four hundred, then you can choose this one. Uh, four hundred. Then we can Get here the spin range. If you choose this one, the spin range will be changed. Okay, so get this. So we can click next. The next one is just making sure that you to put this probe in. We don't finish this. So press next. And also, we click here, the, they will be updated automatically to go to the zero position. So if we go to the turbo side, we need to adjust the, how to say, adjust the second gear. But for now, we didn't use that. We used this one to replace the gear. So, for example, you put like this, so it's very easy, and put that inside, okay, this, use this gear to engage the output gear, so we can to simulate the second gear, load, load it, so we can click here, click next, then do capture, then the output gear is wrong together, and back this itself, so from here we get the capture span, if the span in this range, it means, okay, we we already finished the cabution, so we go to here. Uh, we also have here. If I refresh um, the cabution, they have some kind of size that tells this it is okay. In here, so we go here to the resource testing. Here is the resource like this. So we also have this tool, right? So the then load it. We finish this. If this the actual angle and the operation angle is a fitting very well, they mean that his resource will be. Then we can go here. We have okay, sign here. So we also can you do the learn. So we finish the learn testing. They all finish, right? So we go back, back. We also can do this to read, right? Like here. So we all this testing finished. So it's very very simple for us. We also can do the sweeping levers. Uh, if we didn't want to do this, we can sweep up. Then go by the side. Or bend one. 